एट्थ क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू डू इट ऑन योर ओन चिल्ड्रन नाउ आई मूव टू नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन रोहन टेक्स फोर्टीन स्टेप्स इन कवरिंग अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू पॉइंट एट मीटर्स वॉट डिस्टेंस वुड ही कवर इन वन फिफ्टी स्टेप्स सो हियर वेन ही टेक्स फोर्टीन स्टेप्स द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई रोहन इज टू पॉइंट एट मीटर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ फोर्टीन इफ इट इज ऑफ वन फिफ्टी स्टेप्स अफकोर्स द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड विल बी ग्रेटर दैन टू पॉइंट एट सो नाउ बाय नोइंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन विल प्रिपेयर द टेबल सो द टेबल इज रेडी चिल्ड्रेन नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स एंड द डिस्टेंस दीज आर द टू क्वांटिटीज दैट इज एक्स एंड वाई सो इफ ई रोहन कवर्स फोर्टीन आई मीन टेक्स फोर्टीन स्टेप्स दैन द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई हिम इज टू पॉइंट एट इन मीटर्स एंड वन फिफ्टी डोट नो सो फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग and here the number of steps also increased so this is the case of this is the case of direct variation therefore x by y equal to k which is nothing but constant then x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 then substitute the values 14 by 2.8 equal to 150 by a cross multiply 14 into a equal to 2.8 into 150 don't go for multiplication of these two then a equal to 2.8 into 150 divided by 14 let me remove the decimal point first that is a equal to 28 into 150 divided by 14 into 10 because after decimal point there is one number so divide by 10 in the denominator then 0 0 get cancels 14 ones are 14 twos are then a equal to 2 into 15 Then two into fifteen is nothing but fifteen to the thirty. So he covers thirty steps. Then give the conclusion step. That is what distance would he cover? Then you should write. So Rohan covers. Rohan covers thirty meters in one fifty steps. this is how you need to find the solution for the question children same thing you need to take down in the class work so moving to 10th question children a dealer finds that 48 refined oil cans can be packed in 8 cartons of the same size how many such cartons will he require to pack 216 cans so keep remember children the capacity of one oil can is 5 liters okay here cartons are nothing but small boxes in which the oil cans can be fitted so here 48 oil cans two quantities are number of cans and number of cartons so 48 oil cans can be packed in 8 cartons that is nothing but small boxes okay and in that way 216 cans requires how many cartons yes as here the number increases therefore number of cartons are also increase so let me take this is a so here two quantities are in direct variation because both the quantities are in increasing so this is the case of this is the case of direct variation therefore x by y is equal to k which is nothing but constant you can even convert for each and then multiply also that also you can be it can be done x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 so x1 is 48 and y1 is 8 x2 
216 and y2 we have considered as 8. So 8 ones are 8 6 are 48 cross multiply 6 into a equal to 216 then a equal to 216 divided by 6 6 ones are 6 3 is 18 3 remains 6 6 are 36 then a equal to 36 so you can give the conclusion therefore therefore what is a 36 therefore 36 cartons will require to pack 216 cans. So this is how we need to find children. So now we'll move to 11th question. The total cost of 15 newspaper is rupees 37.50 that is 37 rupees 50 paise. Find the cost of 25 newspapers. So here's K to be taken children. The cost is in decimal. So be aware of it. So the cost of 15 newspaper is 37.50. Then what is the cost of such 25 newspapers? So 15 newspapers 37 rupees 50 paise. Then 25 newspapers will be more than 37.50 rupees. So we will prepare the table with the given information. The table is ready children here. Number of newspapers and cost in rupees. So 15 newspapers cost is 37 rupees 50 paise and 25 newspapers it will be greater than 37 rupees 50 paise. So both are is in increasing order. So this is in direct variation. So this is the case of this is the case of direct variation. Therefore x by y equal to k which is nothing but constant. I write down the formula for the direct variation that is x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 Substitute their values 15 divided by 37.50. Be careful, children, here 25 divided by a. Then cross multiply 15 into a equal to 37.50 into 25. First, let me remove the decimal point here a equal to 3750 into 25 divided by this is under multiplication that is 15 and 8 changes to division into 100 because after decimal point we have two digits now 0 0 cancels 5 5 za, 5 2 za, 10 then 5 1 za, 5 3 za, 15 then 3 1 za, 3 1s are 3 2s are 6, 3 5s are 15, then a equal to 125 divided by 2, then a equal to 2 6 are 12, then 2 2s two are 4.5, that is 62 rupees 50 paise. Even we can make here 0 after decimal point. So this is how. So what he asked? The thing asked is find the cost of 25 newspapers. Give the conclusion. Therefore, the cost of the cost of 25 newspapers is rupees 62.50. That is 62 rupees 50 paise. And question number 12 also, children. You have to do on your own. So there are two questions. Question number 8 and question number 12 is left to you to solve it. And the solving should be done in the classwork only, not in homework. So this completes worksheet 1 children. And regarding to worksheet 2 that is next concept inverse variation we will discuss in the next class. Thank you children. Have a good day.